In this lesson, we're going to look at changing our player character into an animated sprite. So here I have my player character here, but I'm going to go to the player scene and make my changes in this scene here. Let me just zoom in a little bit so I can see the player. So currently we have that set as a sprite. I'm going to change this to an animated sprite. So I can right click on this node. I can change the type and I can change this to an animated sprite. Now that I've got that animated sprite set, we see we've got a warning triangle here, and that's because we've got no images in the frames here. So what I need is a little game character. So what I found is this little sprite sheet here from opengameart.org, and the author is somebody called Sheep, and this little character is called George. So if you search for that, you can go to opengameart.org forward slash content and then alternate dash LPC dash character dash sprites dash George. So all you need to do is just to download that PNG. Once you've done that, let's drop it into our resources folder. So I'll just drag George and drop him into my resources. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my frames here. They're currently empty, so I can create a new sprite frames and obviously click on that to open the animation frames. I'm going to click on this little icon here and then double click on George to open up George. It's defaulted to four by four, which is correct for this character. Now you'll notice each of the positions, so forward walking, left, up, and then right are set in these columns. So I'm going to select the first column, add four frames, and rename this from default, and that is to walk down. So I'll just change this to down. It's currently set to five frames per second. Let's have a look at that. We'll just uh, move this up here. I'll just turn off my collision ship 2D so I can see things a little bit clearer. I'm going to my sprite and I'm going to click on play. Okay, that's moving relatively okay. I think I want it a little bit faster, so I might go to 10 frames per second. Okay, he's going really fast, so if he was running, that might be an idea. Let me change it to maybe eight frames a second. That seems a little bit more reasonable, but well, we can test it in the scene later anyway. Okay, now that I've created the down animation, let's create another one by clicking on this little icon here, so plus, and we've got a new animation which I'm going to rename to up. Again, I'm going to click on this little icon here, load in George, and the up set is this set here, so add four frames. I'll change the speed again to eight frames per second. I'll add another animation, might as well add another one as well, so add two of them. The, this first one is going to be uh, left, and the other one is going to be right. Okay, so I've got down and up my left animation, same procedure as before, click on the icon, double click on George, and left are these four icons here, and add frames, and then right, click on the icon, double click on George, and add on right. Just need to change the frames per second here to eight. And I forgot to do that on the left one as well. So change that to eight as well. Well, that's the animation taken care of. Uh, in the next lesson, we'll look at adding the code necessary. So when we move left, right, up and down, the animation will play. Before I do that, I'm just going to stop playing and just reset that frame counter there.